Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I have a niece and nephew and they're so hard to buy for because they've got so many toys and they never let me play with any of them. But what they did need is some name plaques for their bedroom doors, so I thought at least I could make them that. So first I ripped down some strips of wood to use as the frames. The frame's going to go around some plywood, so I set the blade to the height of the ply. Then in the strips I cut, I could cut a rebate in the back to hold the ply. When cutting thin strips like this, I think some feather boards would be very helpful, so they might have to go onto my to make list. It wasn't that long ago I made a picture framing sled, but this was actually the first one I made for an old table saw. Again, it's just taken me ages to get around to editing this video. The sled makes life so much easier. You just need to cut the first 45 and then you can move it along to the second fence and butt it up against the stop block and then you can make repeated cuts if you want the sides all to be the same length. To hold the frame together, I'm just going to glue the mitres. Getting a V-nailer is definitely on my wish list as it would make making frames so much quicker that you wouldn't have to worry about clamping them up. When I made this, it was before I got my Veritas clamp. So I had to use this band clamp, which is definitely a bit more clunky. But it did the job. Whilst the glue was drying on the frames, I could cut the bit for the backboard. I'm going to glue this into the frames, so that's going to add a lot of strength to it as well. Now my handwriting is terrible, so I didn't want to write the kids' names on their name plaques. Instead, I thought I'd make them chalkboards, and then they could write their own names. And when they get to difficult teenagers, they can just write keep out on them. I'm sure my sister would just love that. When the glue had dried, I could give the frames a bit of a sand down and then I could apply some of my go-to finish, just some brown wax. I leave it to dry for about 10 minutes and then I buff it off on the drill press. As I say, these backboards are going to get glued in place, so if the kids are a little rough, it should help keep the frames together. Right, to make the frames a bit more interesting, I thought they could use a border. A border of Lego bricks. Before I started gluing them in, I came up with a pattern so I didn't repeat too many of the colours. And then they can be stuck in place with just some epoxy. My idea is, not only can the kids customise them by writing their own names, but they also can stick their own favourite Lego characters on. I think Lego Batman is definitely a favourite, but also the Star Wars stuff. I don't know what these crazy kids are into. So that's them all done. The kids were pleased with them. So thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.